that said, they would need to refuel if they were trying to strike deep into China or to these other countries, Russia. And to refuel, they would need a tanker plane, and the tanker plane will not be stealth, right? So it, it, it just from strategy, can you speak to that? Because it just doesn't seem to like it wouldn't even accomplish its stated mission. I don't see how it got this far. <laughs> Yeah, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right that tankers can't play in that equation to extend the range of the, of the F-35 because if you're up against people like the Russians and the Chinese, there are going to be no tankers. They'll be, they'll be the first and the easiest target to shoot down. So you can't, and you're right that the F-35 is quite short-legged. So as I say, uh, it's, it's not that you'll have nuclear weapons here. They won't be here. You won't store nuclear bombs here. You will, under, you know, under some uh, situation of extreme tension, your F-35s from Madison can be called up by the president, by our presumably a little unstable president, and, and sent anywhere as a threat. They will have to be sent very close to a border, exactly as you say, with that short range. And that's why I postulated this scenario like Eastern Poland, but you could postulate something similar to do with China. Uh, they are not in any way a real effective strategic weapon in the sense of the nuclear holocaust, but they're a hell of a troublemaker, and that's what the problem is right there. You know, when they join up in Europe with locally stored nuclear weapons, they suddenly project us right into the shadow of the Holocaust.